Wait, is this a book of recipes? Most seem to require a rather exotic species of fish. Yeah, I haven't even heard of some of these. Let's go tell the tavern keeper about it. Can these creatures let us dispatch them without complaint? And what would make them appear in this area in the first place? It is hardly what one would call especially fertile ground.
I still don't have enough inventory. What's the problem? Well, I'm trying to get into the trading business, so I'm stocking up on the essentials. You mean like selling local products to faraway lands? Not products so much as raw materials. With every nation running out of the basics, I figure it's a great way to make a killing. But right now, I don't have a source for materials, and it's driving me crazy. If I could make just one transaction, I could get this thing off the ground. But I don't have anything to offer. It's a real, what you call it, conundrum. I wouldn't mind getting some materials for you to sell. Seriously? Well, that would be great. What do you need? It's a pretty big list, so you might want to write it down in that floating notebook of yours. Okay, let's see. I need ten bundles of wool, five lumps of natural rubber, and ten goat hides. Oof, that's probably gonna take a while. Is that okay? Take your time. That'll give me a chance to set up shop and fill out forms and the like.
A lot of rude, short-tempered people live here. I guess folks can afford to worry about little things when their bellies are full and the weather's good. Hey, so I found a cookbook in the library with some recipes that might interest you. Really? Uh, let me take a look. Shark? Really? Wow, this is some high-class cuisine. I've never even tried cooking something like this before. Still, shark fin fried rice sounds amazing. Think you could help me track some down? You can eat shark fins? Man. Anyway, sure. I didn't come this far just to quit now. Wonderful. In that case, here's the shopping list. Five sharks, five bags of rice, and five mushrooms. Oh, and thanks in advance. It is fascinating how gourmet cuisine can survive even in the midst of a food shortage. Hey, you gotta help me out here. You just gotta. I'm having serious girl trouble. See, there's this girl that I'm pretty wild for, so I asked her out. But she won't even consider it unless I take her to a really nice restaurant. That seems rather demanding. She really appreciates the finer things in life. First class places for a first class lady. She's so cool. Everyone has their own tastes, I guess. The thought that anyone would actually- Such a rude! Tell ya, there... Looking for a kid who ran away from home? There was a strange kid asking people questions earlier. I think he was trying to learn how to get into facade. Facade, huh? Maybe we should go take a look. I promised 
hoped my brother I'd come visit, but now he won't leave the house. Says his fingers are turning black or some such nonsense. We have been waiting for you, sirs. Please, right this way. Please, wait here. Waiting's a bitch. Just let me know if any shades show up, okay? like this one bit. What's the matter, Vice? Scared?
Uh, perhaps we should head back, yes? go I knew this was a terrible idea haunted manners and the like oh, why does no one ever listen to me locked. changed. Oh, it looks like it's in pain. It's kind of scary. Uh, yes, uh, come now. Brave faces. Uh, onward and upward, eh? Come now, brave faces, uh, onward and upward, eh? What foul hole did they call from? You're a male. 
Young. Not even 20. You figured that out from my footsteps? It's not hard, once you know how. Then I suppose I should tell you about my friend Vice. I... I only heard one set of footsteps. Grimoire Vice does not strut about like a common land mammal. <laughs> but enough of this introductory chatter. Let us hear your tale. My name is Emil. I'm the master of this manor. So you're the one who sent the letters? Letters? What are you talking about? Of course you don't know. Such a thing would be far too simple. No! Stay back! Huh? I'm sorry. It's my eyes. Anything I look at gets turned to stone. That's why I live with this blindfold. What a remarkable skill. I've never heard of such a thing. Anyway, I suppose my butler might know more about the letters you received. This key here can unlock any door in the manor, so if you'd like my assistance... No, please, don't trouble yourself. We can get around on our own. Oh, right, sure. Well, here's the key then. The butler's quarters are at the far end of the manor. Let me at least give you a map. It's a big place, and I don't want you to get lost. The butler's court. Vice, what should we do about Kaine? Leave her. That woman is capable enough on her own. Jeez, remind me to never get on your bad side. Or at least a remarkable likeness of one. I knew this was a trap. Curse my brilliant intuition. that another one hmm. <laughs> it moves what's going on here sir 
What is this? Oh, this is my butler. He helps me out around the manor. He's a good man at heart, but a bit inflexible. Almost like a statue. Yes, and I do apologize for that, Master Emil. <laughs> I doubt he's even human. We're here because my sister received some letters from this manor. Mm, yes, I wrote those letters. Please forgive my impertinence. As you may know, Master Emil, deeply pained by his eyes, has shut himself away from the world. He suffers greatly behind that blindfold, and I feel it is my duty to help however I can. I heard tale of the exploits of an emerging hero, and so I sent a letter to you under Master Emil's name. But I received a response from one Miss Yona instead. Wait, so Yona's pen pal is you? It is, sir. My letters merely requested that you come to the manor. I meant no ill intent. I believe Yona saw the exchange somewhat differently. Yeah, sounds like she misunderstood the situation. Regardless, I am quite pleased to see you here. Long have I dreamed of the day we might be able to do something about Master Emil's eyes. I see. Yes, well, I am afraid we, or at least this lad beside me, is neither hero nor physician, so if you'll excuse us... Please, we're so close. The cure for Master Emil's condition is located in this very manner. Then why don't you just go get it? Alas... The location of the cure has become a den for those abominable shades, and I lack the skill to combat them. I beg of you, defeat the shades and restore Master Emil's sight. You know this is an impossible task. Why would you ask it of our guests? Well, you've no more time to waste, so... It's okay. We'll do it. See here, lad. This is no time to play the hero. People need to look out for each other, Vice. Plus, we have to find Kaine anyway. A thousand thank yous. I owe you a debt that can never be repaid. I'm really sorry for all the trouble. My butler cares so much for me, but for him to make such outlandish requests... A thousand... At least I can petrify your enemies. That's got to be some help, right? I can't let you do this on your own. So I'll be right here if you need me. Maybe my eyes can be useful for once.